Today, I've got a problem which was on an IMO team selection test. Let me just adjust my camera there. We want to find the maximum number of zeros at the end of 1 to the n plus 2 to the n plus 3 to the n plus 4 to the n, as n is any old natural number. Do have a go at this problem. It's quite a nice one, but not too difficult, not too hard either. Okay, we want to find the maximum number of zeros. So first thing maybe we can do is play around with this for small values of n. Well, when n is 1, this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. We get that that is 10, that has one zero. Okay, we can do definitely at least one zero. Can we do two? Well, the next thing you might do is try n is two, and you get one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared. So one plus four plus nine plus 16, that's 30. Okay, you get another one that can end in one zero. Great. And it's three, maybe we can see what happens there. Well, we're going to get one plus four, not one plus four, sorry, one plus eight plus 27 plus 64 and if you work that out that turns out to be 100 which is also 10 squared so if you know the trick there uh, you know the trick there um, but that's 100 that ends in two zeros uh, so our new contender is two and it turns out that that is in fact the maximum we cannot do any better so the maximum number of zeros this has at the end is two why is that well what we're going to do is consider this expression mod uh, so for n is at least 4, we're going to ask ourselves what happens to this expression mod 8. So let me just call this expression f of n. So f of n is going to be congruent to, well, 1 to the n is just 1. Now 2 to the n, well, if n is at least 4, this is going to be like, I can write this as maybe, you know, 2 to the power of n is the same thing as 16 times 2 to the power of n minus 4. And since n is at least 4, n minus 4 is going to be a non-negative integer. So 2 to the n minus 4 is going to be some positive integer. So 16 times it is going to be a multiple of 16. So it's going to be 0 mod 8. So I've got 1 plus 0 plus 3 to the n. Now 3 to the n uh, mod 8. Let's think about what that can be. Well, 3 to the 1 is just 3 mod 8. 3 squared is 1. 3 cubed is back to 3. And it's just going to go 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. So this thing here is either going to be 3 or 1. We're not really sure yet. One of those two values. And 4 to the n, again, 4 to the n when n is at least 4. 4 to the n is going to be a multiple of 256. Uh, and so that's definitely a multiple of 8. So this is going to be plus 0 mod 8. <laughs> and the idea here is whether this is 3 or this is 1. This is either going to equal to 2 or 4 mod 8. But that means it cannot end in three or more zeros. Because if it did end in three or more zeros, it would be a multiple of a thousand. Ergo, it would be a multiple of eight. But of course, this shows that it's either two or four mod eight and never zero mod eight when n is at least four. So that means that we can only ever do two uh, from doing n is three. Maybe there are some other values of n where this thing here is zero, uh, ends in two zeros, but we can't get three zeros. And that solves our problem.